looks like a generally dry forecast as we continue to head throughout the next week or so. The six to 10 day precipitation outlook, you can see those above normal chances. Those are remaining off to our west below average across the eastern half of the state, extending all the way to the east coast. So we are looking at those slightly below average chances as we head throughout the next week. We're going to remain a little warmer than the average as well. We're going to look at temperatures on either side of those upper 80s as we continue to head throughout the next week. Those above average temperatures sticking around, but a slight cool down from what we've experienced over the past week. No more of those 90s and triple digits. Those are going to be more of the outliers as we continue to head throughout the next six to 10 days. Taking a look at what we can expect over the next month. About those normal chances for the rain totals across the state. We do have those slightly above average chances still going in the desert southwest uh, with the monsoon season in the area. And again, those above average chances as we look off to our east. But across the state, we can expect about normal chances for rainfall as we continue to head throughout the next month. And that's the heat kind of starting to drift away. We're going to see those above average temperatures over the next month remain out to the west. We're going to be about normal and that means the mid 80s across the state as we head over the next month or so. So as we take a look at the next three months that extended outlook, we do have slightly above average chances in the southeastern portions of the state and that extends all the way through Minnesota and into the Great Lakes region, even reaching portions of Texas for those above average rain chances. And again, as we look off to the north, uh, but across much of the state, we're going to look at those equal chances for rain as we continue to head over the next three months or so. So those temperatures again, that's going to be around average. So we're look, going to look to be in those mid 80s as we continue to head over the next three months. We're going to experience those about average temperatures above normal in the southwest. So they're going to be feeling the heat out there, but we can experience that cool down that we've been waiting for. We're going to be about normal as we continue to head throughout that extended outlook. So drought still hanging on to portions of the state. We're really starting to chip away at that exceptional drought. We see that creeping out of the state. Still do have some of that in Kansas, just close to 9% under exceptional drought, about 30% in extreme drought in Kansas, uh, Nebraska, 67% of the state under that severe drought. And you can see where it's lessened, that is off to the east where we have been experiencing a little bit more of that rainfall and where the drought in previous years really hasn't been quite as bad. You know, the eastern or the western half of the state still looking pretty dry out there. So we are looking to be just slightly above average over the next week or so. We're looking at about 88 degrees. So on either side of that, our lows are going to be about normal as we head over the next week. So if rain falls during an east wind, it will continue for a full day. So hopefully we'll see some of that going on over the next week or so because we definitely need the rain. Now you've sent in some pictures. Let's take a look at some of those. Thanks for all the photos you've been sending in. You can keep on sending them to pro at Nebraska.tv or connect with us on Facebook or Twitter. And every week we'll pick one to be our photo of the week. Still to come, we climb aboard a combine for a ride here at the Nebraska State Fair. Stay with us.